wonder if I put on my glasses will I look cool? Be like, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Wanna learn how to put on eyeshadow? Okay, let's be serious. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys the basic beginner steps. I don't know why the sun is messing with me right now, but we're just gonna work with it because it doesn't want to cooperate with me. So we're just gonna let it. We're just gonna ignore the sun. So yeah, if you wanna learn how to apply eyeshadow for beginners and achieve this beautiful look, <laughs> like so, stay right there. Without further ado, let's get to it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's go this way. Now, before you apply eyeshadow, the first thing you want to do is um, apply um, an eyeshadow primer to your eyelid first because that's going to help make your eyeshadow stay in place. And this primer um, is called the Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. So I took like a little scoop, then I'm just going to apply it gently. So you can see I'm just using my finger to smooth that in. I'm going in with my LA Girl um, Almond shade and I'm gonna press that back boy in so you just want to like dab it into the primer so after doing this you can either set this uh, concealer which is now your base with your eyeshadow or set it with powder depends on what you want to go for or go straight into blending your transition colors I like to go straight to blend my transition colors because it um, what's the word the colors are, could be, are more vibrant so that's why Now for my transition color, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe um, 35OM palette. When you're doing your transition colors, you want to use matte colors. Do not use anything shimmery. Only matte colors. How to pick transition colors? It depends on the look you're going for. If you already know what you're going for, you want to pick like, okay, if you're going to do a bright eyeshadow color on your eyelid, you want to put pick a transition color that's dark because then the darkness will make it pop. It's like having something against the black background it'll look really good so it's up to you you have to like think like that so i it's i can't really give like uh if you're gonna do this color of eyeshadow this is the color for transition color you must use because like makeup is like it's your own thing you can do it anywhere you want to do so i can't really tell you like okay if you want to do this color pick this color for transition color it, that's not how it works you can use you can use a totally different color that's opposite from what you're using for your eyelid and it'll still come out bomb it just depends on blending and your techniques i'm going to be going with this two this two brown shades right there and then i'm going to mix it in with that one so let me do those two first when you get the eyeshadow onto your brush you want to like tap tap a little to get rid of the excess one so you don't have too much fallout i'm going to go right here and I'm going to apply that in a circular motion. You can do the swipe, but when you're first applying the colors, it's good to go in a circular motion so you can lock the shade in there. Now you see how vibrant it was. A good popping color. So back to blending, you're going to go in a circular motion. And feel free to go back in there and dip and get more colors if it's not as dark or as light as you want. When you're applying color, when you go back and dab to get more color, always start at the end. You don't want to start at like the middle or in the front because then it's going to be too much color for in here. You want it to be like dark light. You know? And you want to change brushes when you're going from different colors to different colors. Since I'm staying within the same brownish shade, I decided not to change color. As you can see, I'm going in the same circular motion. I'm going to be going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Taylor palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here. Set the foundation for my eyelids. I, I really do not need to recut the crease. You do that when you want to get that defined cut crease look. So for the next shade, I'm going to be using these two shades right here. And when you're picking up eyeshadow to apply, you want to just like 
gently, 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 gently tap it into, like tap your brush into the palette, place in it. When you want to apply eyeshadow, you want to just tap, 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 tap. Don't go like that with the way you're blending. So I'm literally just tapping it in to my eyelid. I'm doing the cup crease, but it's not going to be as defined as if I were to like recarve everything. And I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm going to add the color from my transition color to the ends of my eyelid and then blend it into the eyeshadow I just applied so it's like an ombre. Glitter liner I'm using is the Diamond and Shine and extra long lasting. I'm gonna be going in with my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. The foundation I'm using is the Revlon um, Color Stay Foundation in the shade. contour because I have somewhere to go so I'm just gonna put on my highlight by my BH Cosmetics Ashley Tisdale Luminate Highlighter to my brow I'm gonna apply it gently right there I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal setting spray before I apply the highlight to my face For the rest of my face, I'm going to be going with my BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant um, Highlighting Palette. And I'm going to be using like the combination of all shades together. Cosmetics uh, matte lipstick in the shade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 